Damn. Do you know what episode it is? Yep. Yo. Need this podcast. Uh, Robert, Robert Kraft. Jesse Smollett. <laughs> Bob. Bob Kraft. Oh, my oh, goodness. Well, he definitely has some of Bob in huh? Yo. <laughs> I he lived up you to know, his name. Being rich, <laughs> being rich must. Maybe it's like when you're from the outside looking in, it isn't that easy, though. So, it isn't that easy. Like you would think, if you're that rich, like he's one of the richest people in the world. He's one of the richest people in the world. He has like what five, six Super Bowls, and you still got to go to the strip mall to like yo, like, <laughs> like can't you just tell him to come to his house? Like what? Can't you just go inside and th- I, I? You know who me? Can I just come to the house? Like I don't understand. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could have someone do that for him. <laughs> I just I don't understand Most it. Most rich bro. people got people for that kind of stuff, which is why you never hear them getting caught. I don't understand it, bro. I don't get what it. What makes bro. no sense to me is he was in Florida on the day of the morning of the championship game, and I get that he has a private jet and he could do whatever Stressful. he wants, but he ain't playing. Shoot, what do you need to be there for? Media day? Yeah, like they not at the game in the playoffs. So the owners are definitely at the games. Of course, but he ain't playing. You know, he'll get there eventually. Uh, <laughs> he'll get there. All right. <laughs> it makes no sense to be about a three-hour flight away from where your game is at. Huh? Bro, he probably took a Concorde. He might still have one. Yes, all right. He has a personal Concorde. <laughs> if he, if uh, there's Concord still... 11. If there's... <laughs> <laughs> if there are still rich people that got like the, their own Concorde, that's crazy. You know? I used to want to get on a Concorde so bad to fly from New York to England because you know? it'd be like what thirty minutes or something. All right, the joint was ridiculously here. fast. It was something like that. No, it wasn't. Wasn't like fly from New York to I like think it was like half the time. That's more than thirty minutes. It was like yeah, but I think it's only from New York to England for what four hours maybe. A regular flight. Yeah, no, regular flight's four hours. Than that. No, to England. It's only yeah. like four hours. Yeah, it is longer than that. It is not longer than flight. It's probably the equivalent of the West Coast in the U.S. to the to the East Coast. Yeah, it's about four hours. It is not a four-hour flight from here to New York City or From Boston. here to Atlanta is four. From here to no, New York not. City is about 4.17. I go to both regularly. What are you talking about? What? It's about 4.17, four hours, 17 minutes to get from Arizona to New York. From California, all right, fine. Add about 15 minutes. All right. No, add about 35 minutes. All right. You just on here making stuff up on this episode. So from New York on a Concord to England is about two hours. Look it up. From New York on a Concord to Africa is about three and a half hours. People going to tell you you're wrong in the comments, and you're going to be like, yo, sneak this podcast reserves the right to not give but, the truth ever. We just give our own truth. Do you realize how wrong we are a lot of times? No. And it let's, doesn't let's, matter. Let's leave it to you. Let's reserve it to you. I'm not wrong. Okay. All right. So you think that having creative opinions that you strongly believe in makes you wrong. It doesn't. Paris, sh- here we go. What from from New York to England. We didn't say Paris. I didn't say France. I said to England. That's United Kingdom. All right. To the home of 21 Savage. Where is it? So, yes, yeah, the home. You try to tell me 21 Savage was born on an island. I mean, I'll, that's what somebody said. I'll slap you. Dude. I told you better. How many blokes have you shot a lot? How many blokes have you shot? <laughs> yeah, see about to start making that, new, that UK trap music. What was, wasn't that on Jesus and Mero when he was like better than all UK rappers though? <laughs> Bruh, Dying do you laughing. understand like if he decided to like, he he's already the greatest rapper in UK already, hands down, period. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, he is. Nah. Let me tell you somebody who was like actually grown musically and that's 21 Savage, no? What does that even mean? When you come from the extreme worst rappers of all time list, then yeah, it's the only place to go is up. Mm. But that's the goal, to get better. This says watch, watch this podcast episode. New York one. to Paris and the Concord normal flight time was three hour thirty minutes and the record is two hours and fifty three minutes. On the Concord? To Paris from New York. That's Paris, bruh. So that means to England it's about forty five minutes. Okay. Bruh, look up to United are, are Kingdom. You ser- I'm you? not looking to Paris, France. I need you to look up to United Kingdom, okay? UK. Bruh. Bangers and Mash. Do you understand where f- New York? Wait, where you from here or where? You understand, like, the island that's literally between France and England is a shared property? Like, them, well, I don't know why you're assuming them joints is like. I need you to, to look up. 10,000 miles apart. I need apart. you to look up from New York to United Kingdom. 
Don't come at me with this other stuff. Don't tell me how to get to Spain, South Africa, Australia, none of that. All right. I need to know from New York to the United. You know, I got this, man. Because you probably ain't no telling what you're looking at. You're probably looking at Bryce Harper's getting on a train mm -hmm. or something. Let me look this up, B. Three and a half hours. That's on a regular plane. On no. a Concorde? No, it's not, man. On the Concorde to Paris. Three and a half hours. Bruh, I say United Kingdom. Uh huh. You act like Heathrow is that much closer. I need to know, okay? I need to know. Concorde. You know what? I don't got time for this. Uh, New York. To I'm trying UK. to give the people accurate answers. Right. And you out here trying to give them nonsense. Uh. Yeah, okay. NY to UK flight. Takes about six hours to London from New York. Which is exactly what I said. God dang, that's far. Which is exactly what I said. Bruh, I can't last on a plane for six hours. We're going to Paris next year. So, okay. we are for our 10-year anniversary, fam. All right. We're going to Paris next year and have a second wedding out there, most likely. We go out there. I, we plan on yeah, I mean, y'all are rich, so it makes sense. We plan on taking my mom... And I think all those sisters are going, whoever. You and Hannah are more than welcome to come. If you guys want to go. You got a passport. I mean, listen. Rich people. I'm not joking. We're really people, going. Though. Listen. Rich people do what rich people do. All right. Now, I said you guys could come with us. Huh? See, you're my best friend. Huh? You can come with me. <laughs> uh, two hours is the flight time from told you. New York to London on the Concord. I told you that. Didn't I say that? And what you said then? Very about seven and a half hours on a Concorde you said on a regular plane. Thirty minutes. Yeah, fam. you said on a, a, a Cessna. All right. Yes, I flew. I flew a turboprop over the Atlantic on that plane. What's that movie? Hatchet. When that kid flew on that plane to go visit dad, and he the dad the pilot had a heart attack and he crashed. Oh, he two hours fifty two minutes. Lord of the like Flies. Like I said, that's almost an extra hour. How did the kids get on the island in Lord of the Flies? I can't remember. I have no idea. I haven't seen that movie in probably twenty years. It wasn't the same way they got to that one place. With that movie Maze Runner? All I know Maze? is cats got started killing each other once they got crazy. Huh? Yeah, they started acting like Concord Elevens dropped. They started, <laughs> yeah, they started acting like everyone else. They started acting like a sneaker release. So they started taking each other out. Um shoot. Yeah, Robert Kraft, he wild though. But I ain't mad at him though. I well, mean I don't think anyone's mad at him. I, nah. I mean some people are mad at him. Uh, I mean he ain't married. I don't, I think you got a girlfriend or something. I don't, I don't care. I don't care nothing about none of that. I mean, there's a lot of people out there doing worse stuff. You facts. Though. Now, now he's a moron. Oh, of course. And he should have had uh, a moron. He's a strong word. No, he's a moron. No, he's rich. He's not a moron. He's a, is a moron. That's exactly right. He's a moron. You said at the very uh, beginning. Yeah, I guess that makes you a moron. You literally should have a bag man right. and get the bag man to bring them to you. But you shouldn't be in Florida That's to begin fact. with because, number one, nothing but bad stuff happens in Florida. And number two, your game was in Kansas City later that day. So you should have already been in Kansas City and had them Tatiana. That's all you think about. You should have had them Tatiana. Yeah, he could have easily room. picked a few Kansas City barbecue chicks out the crowd. <laughs> yes, facts. Barbecue. Well, imagine getting found a girl, them out of eating contest. Imagine, getting a girl, <laughs> <laughs> imagine pulling a girl out the stands. Uh, she smelled like brisket. Uh, you ain't got no choice. Uh, you'd be like, well, you know, we're in Kansas City. When in Rome. <laughs> Barbecue on her fingers. <laughs> Went in Rome. Uh, uh, a flight from Rome, right. from right from Florida to Rome on a Concorde, about eight and a half hours. Uh, that's facts. Uh. <laughs> yes, that's facts. I'm not mad at him or Jesse Smollett, man. So I don't, I don't know matter. much about that story. So you, what? All Come I know on, is all I know is he hired people to beat him up, and it was a fake story. I don't know where he came from. All he was trying Empire. to do was increase his his Pay. profile. That's it. I'm not mad at him, bro. Like there's a like you said, there's a lot of worse people out here doing us. The politicians, like actual known bad stuff, and they still out here living life. We just make fun of J just Jussie. First of all, I think it's Jussie, which is extremely trash. That's his mom's fault. Now, I just he's just funny. He's a meme. We laugh at him. Move on. Like I don't really care. Like he's out here doing his thing. If you want to, know if you want to get just, know what he does. Who is he? He's the guy. He's on Empire. Like you, know, you never seen that show. Oh, I thought it. Okay, I know what Empire is. I don't watch it, but I know what it is. Yeah, it's on network he's a, TV. I don't watch network. He's TV. on TV. Oh, yes, not enough blood and sex for you, uh, and cursing and nonstop violence. Um, if they don't allow cursing, I ain't watching, fam. Well, you need to chill. All right. If you can't watch a TV show because it doesn't have a certain amount of cursing in it, the the rest of the world's gonna be zero, super trash. Zero cursing. 
Because I hate watching other TV shows like like USA and stuff where they curse now. Like they say the S word at least a few times on FX yeah, and all that. FX, they said I the hate word, it, fam. I hate fire, that, bro. Fam. I hate fire. that. That's stupid. No, it's not. It's, fire, it's stupid. It's fire. There's no decency anymore. Like you feel like you can't write a show. Bruh. Let me tell you. No, 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 no. First of all, no, no, come on here. Acting no. corny. You know? I'm not acting corny. See, yeah, you, you think it's corny because. You are corny. No, 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 no. I don't need to watch shows and everybody. Like, you know what? If a man and a woman walks in a room and they were kissing, I, I assume they about to he about to hit. Huh? I don't gotta watch them hit. I neither huh? do I. I that's oh, not uncomfortable to me. Uh, oh all right. please! All right, you, you thrive in it. Okay. Huh? You could ask my wife. All right, you be like this. <laughs> yes, all right, you be like this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like right. a shiesty pastor, like mm. yes, mm. wicked. I could care less about that stuff. Bro. That is completely different than having dialogue Cursing that's real too? in the real world. Cursing people too? in the real world curse. Uh. Okay, people in the real world curse, but they don't curse like they do in television shows and stuff. Every yes, other they week. do. You know who's one of the worst that like unnecessary curse like Vince Vaughn? Like just wild. Just I, I can't stand you unnecessary know, cursing. Was on TV, True, now, True Detective, now, eight years ago. Huh? Yeah, now. You running through the hood and you getting dumped at? Oh, fam, you could throw some whatever you got out there. But, like, sitting there a conversation, like, and you just like, F that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these mother. Like, it's like, what are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> like, you don't got to say that. Huh? Anyways. Now, violence. You, you are actually wilding. Huh? Violence. I'm not necessarily mad at, but unnecessary violence. It's like, well, come on. Like, I mean, you have to do that. Like, just shoot them. You ain't got to do all that. Anyways, you had pickups this week? Yeah, you out of control, no, fam. you out of control. You, Robert Kraft, and Jesse out of control. Anyways, pick up. Yes, me, Kraft, and Jesse, man. <laughs> like I said, I ain't mad at Jesse, dude. That's my guy. Actually, that's not my guy. But he's just he's funny. He's doing his thing. No, he yeah, just made you, a mistake. Yeah, you wild fan. He just he just corny, though. But I could I could plan out the perfect crime, though. I feel like you 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 give it your best shot, but I could plan out the perfect crime, though. You're actually wilding. My perfect crime would be frame it on somebody else. So he didn't do that. He worked with him. You got to frame it on somebody who's unaware. He could have easily got himself beat up in public. You just go start trying to pick a fight with somebody and get yourself beat up. You got to hire nobody to get beat up. Anyways, continue. The problem is, you know what the problem is? He didn't want to get beat up. You got to be willing to get beat up if you want them checks, fam. And he sent the letter himself to Fox. Bruh, he sent a letter with magazine clippings out of it. Like, what does he think, what does he think this is? Like, who sends a letter with magazine clippings out of it? He thinks it's true detective. Bruh. And then the magazines were still in the, the homeboy's room that he hired with missing magazine pages. Like, come on, man. You know way too much about this story, no? Because it's everywhere. Bro, he came out you of the courthouse. actually got to do like a deep dive, pause to find this. These he came, no, bro, it's on every single news channel, all over the internet. I have no idea how you're not aware of it. Like, to be not aware of it, you just like, I don't care about Watch this. Watch the news. I just look at Twitter, fam. Twitter, it, it's all over Twitter. Anyways, any pickups? Lies. Anything? Pickups? Um, I don't think I bought anything. I bought something for... Uh, well, actually, I can't say that, I guess, because that'll kind of give it away. No, it came today. That's all right, because the show don't come out till tomorrow. I bought something comes for the out old, tonight for the old anniversary. Yeah, but she won't listen on. She'll listen tomorrow, maybe on iTunes, not tonight. I'll text her and say, listen, tonight. All right. Don't go to sleep. Listen, tonight. Greatest anniversary gifts ever, fam. Three of them. You bought three anniversary gifts? That's why it's the greatest gifts you ever. You only told me one. Dang, you must have bought Never mind. What about Jordan 1, Jordan 2, Jordan 3? I took, <laughs> <laughs> yes, three shoes she wouldn't wear. Sell them online. I took them joints back to uh, what you call it so I could get that $30 off coupon. And when I went in the stores, the lady, I was trying to explain it to her. And I was like, you know what? I haven't even looked at these yet. Let me see. They're actually kind of nice. Wait, which one of them? I don't know what you bought. The Air Max one. Oh. No, I didn't buy three shoes. I bought oh. three gifts. I thought you bought Anniversary 11s, Anniversary 3s. Nah, fam. Anniversary I'm, a, I'm a clever man. <laughs> All right. That's debatable. Clever is, a, clever is not what I would describe you. Ah, okay. I would describe you as ornery. You like to act angry. You're not as angry as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> what? These are facts. No, Any other pickups? Definitely not a fact. Oh, those are facts. You might definitely be the most honorary person on earth. Though. Could be more than one thing. Fam. You might be the only person I know that, like, I can guarantee one text message at a random, like, heinous, like I hate everybody on earth. Yeah, you're right. 
kill them all. Huh? Oh, God. Cats they- too. I hate all cats. <laughs> <laughs> Only like jungle cats, uh, only big cats. Ah, uh, yes, Jackson Jaguars <laughs> and Carolina Panthers. You right, big jungle cats, man. <laughs> big jungle cat. Them your top ten favorite animals yeah, of all time. Top, we could do top ten cats. <laughs> you won't see house cat on the list. I'll stop at six. Fam, I remember in my neighborhood, me and Oscar was in the backyard playing basketball. He's a little kid. Me and Rocio started dating. Went to the mailbox. Someone put on the mailbox, yo, watch out, bobcats in the neighborhood. You always see stuff like that. Me and Oscar shooting hoops in the backyard. We had one of the backyard fences that looked out in the green belt. Fam, we heard literally that, like, seemed like this cat walking. I was like, that's a big cat. Bro, you heard that, like, that movie sound that cats made, like, like that. Bro, went straight in the house, fam. You Fact. were shook, huh? But what shook? But that cat could have cleared the fence. Huh? I don't care about humans. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you know serious. what cats fight? Cats fight crazy. Bro, they be like, literally ah, driven past them on a golf course. They don't pay no mind. Huh? That was a dumb. dog. Uh, yeah, yes. No, they care. Bro. Only thing they care about is other animals. They don't care about humans. Huh? That's not true. Coyotes don't care like people think. Uh, coyotes, I see them all the time. Yes, yeah, the, yes, the Phoenix Coyotes. And the Wiley, they, Wiley they don't coyotes. care. Arizona they don't care Coyotes. coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> you get any other pickups? <laughs> I don't think I bought anything. I, feel, I was asleep for all the releases this week. Um, and anything that restocked, I was late, so couldn't get it. And this was a pickup last week. Shout out to Josh again, the Swagzilla. Bruh, Turbo Ones. Oh, I copped those, but I already said that. Are you keeping? I don't know yet. You got to keep, though. I just Turbo don't like highs. Ones. The materials are nice. I don't like highs. Turbo Ones. And the collars, even though the shoe was nice, the collar still stiff. Pause. Uh. Turbo Ones are definitely in the top 10 Jordan Ones that. in the last, I don't even know how long. I already though. told you that. Turbo Ones, first of all, everybody I've seen taking pictures of them on Instagram, you know I don't care about that. They all look fire in the pictures. The lace choices they come with, fire. The materials, fire. Even the little letters on the side, not even worth taking off. That's how small they are. That shoe is undeniable fire. Stop. I told you it was. Like, looking for a second pair. You can wear it with that hat. Looking for a second pair. Oh, facts. Facts. No, Don't tell me what I'm doing. No, you ain't. Now, I will tell you this, though. The wife is on you, though. She told me last week. She on you, though. She, yeah, you thought you were slick. Cost you. Okay. She yeah. said, two more boxes? <laughs> <laughs> we're like. Yeah, you a trash best friend. You know why? <laughs> because right. you go all super late. It was already over. Discussion over. Yo, fam, but Greg did say he took some stuff back. I'm like, man, discussion is over, fam. <laughs> You bring that try, up now. Try to help you out. Well, you're too late. When she was heated, you didn't say a single word. I, you act like I brought it up. I try to save you. She was like, "Oh my god, sneakers!" And you were just like this on Twitter. I'm like, <laughs> what like, am I yo, supposed to say? You supposed to be like, "Nah, man." Yeah, they're Greg. for the show. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they. Yeah. You know, he returns Nike, stuff. Nike dude. sent them on free for free. Um, Nike seated Greg. I will tell you this. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Denim Air Max 98 though. Demanded. These are both Damn. things I already knew. I told you about both <laughs> Those of them. Those are might be the most difficult sneaker of all time. No? Those are number. If I had to think of the top most, you actually helping Nike make their money. No? That's what we should do. Like next week, we should do a top ten list of sneakers we thought were fire and we got them. We weren't. We've done it before. You know what number one is no? that we thought was fire and we got it G- ahead. G eleven ones. No, what? Those are still fire. No, no. Not you fire. know what's number one that we thought was fire was Black Mamba Kobe 11s. They though. might be fire. That picture. They don't look nothing like they do in the picture, but they might still be Bro, fire. Bro, the picture, they look like actual Black Mambas, though, like actual real snakes. Though. And <laughs> yes. And hand, black Mamba's not even a black snake. <laughs> it's like grayish or something, huh? Oh, it's black. No, it was, ain't black. It was black in uh, Kill Bill. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was when he opened Bruh. up that suitcase and it bit him in his face. Bro, black mamas are not like jet black. Uh, no, they're not jet. Okay, black. I didn't say he was. I didn't say he was matte. Right? Joyce is like gray. Uh. I mean, it's like he's just ashy. Like I don't know. <laughs> right. He's shedding skin. Yes. Um, but a- denim ninety eight. Ashy like a. I'm gonna give him grape five. I'm gonna give him one more look. And I'm gonna try them on and stuff, but those and the Chinas I got from Jay. Shout out to Jay. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, I'm gonna do with those, uh, on them. Bruh, China, China, China man's yes. Uh, bruh, them I shouldn't is even different. say that. <laughs> that yeah, sounds bad. Very bad. Excuse me. Bruh. Podcast. I say everything, now, man. Yes. 
I add man at the end of every word, and that's actually a, a that's derogatory a slur, comment. That's a slur. Dude. You didn't apologize. China man. humans. I can't wait till Jay hears it, dude, because he's going to be eating. He's going to text me separately. I mean, Damn, know. what's he, up with Georgia? Does he really even, like China or he's not what? not even from China, fam. He's from Maryland. Yeah, he really isn't. But he's heritage, man. Don't be nah, disrespectful to someone heritage. Don't count. Well, I'm from the UK, and you've been mad disrespectful of my yes. flight patterns. Uh, if you were from the UK, you would know how long it takes to fly here. <laughs> I got here a long time ago. Uh, okay. Um, your mom brought you when you were five, like 21. It was. I'm, two, I'm 19, Savage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, React. What them joys called? ISPAs. Did you buy them? Yeah, I got the white ones. Dang, he's rich. Uh, no. Did it come already? Bruh. Pause. I can't wait. No, you know what I did? I returned that off-white tuxedo shirt. All right. Yeah, you should have. But down. you know how much... I didn't realize some of those tuxedo shirts are still sitting like undefeated website and stuff like that. Oh, wow, wow. And bro, which I didn't send you today, finally thought of a t-shirt idea though. Finally, bro, merch. T-shirts are too expensive. Though. Yeah, yo, them t-shirts you made were they good? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I barely saw the. I'm looking at pictures online to look at them. Like all the pictures are far away. I don't even know what you put on the shirts. So they they came out good. Yeah. Were they white? It was white, yeah. Were they see through? I feel like the one I saw. Nah, your but niece the image was over, the image and the words were on the front anyway, so it, it wouldn't matter. Like, did it print good? Like, but it doesn't matter if you run do an order. You're not going to do less than twelve, less like than twenty four. Yeah, so you would do. But I'm not doing a rush. You, you. It doesn't matter. It's two different things. Like, less than twelve is direct to garment. The other one is actual screen printing. So it would be completely different. There's two different ways to get the image on the shirt. Basically, was yours less than four hundred? The order? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Less than three? No, I don't think so. But that God. it would have been less than three hundred without the hundred dollars for the rush, rush order. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not gonna rush it. I'm gonna say, yo, take your time, me. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's still twenty three dollars a shirt. Mm. It's insane. Yeah, but you only had like what, nine made? I mean, does that matter? It gets cheaper the more you get. Oh, I hope so, but I don't know if that's true. I'll take my own t shirts, man. Yeah, I got a stash better, of pro yeah. pro tall tees you still. Could, yeah, you could hit up uh, Boost Man. Ooh. He got his own screen printer. Oh, shoot. Boost guy do, huh? Boost Man. Does he still exist? He still exists, right? I mean, I don't. I don't who knows? Oh. Man, I don't, none I don't of them, know. Bro. I don't know if he exists in sneakers. He might exist in the world. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen tried him. For, wow. Tried for Defiant Ones. But, bro, I don't care about creases and stuff like that. Uh, the what? creases in that, the culture ones. With couture, whatever, oh. defiant what? coutures. What? Them joints look awful. Like crease. Andy Green got his today. Shout out to Andy Green. He sent a picture of it. Oh, he got them. Bruh, them joints look like they look just like you said, oil slicks. You know? They look awful. Look at that. I think he said that. Uh, somebody said it. Bruh, them joints look like uh, what's that movie that had um Mark Wahlberg in it, and then the stuff blew up. <laughs> what? Uh, did he get it from sneakers or where'd he get it? He from? got off sneakers. Why? Is somebody knocking over here? Hopefully it's the other mm. door. Why? I don't understand why the tongue is. I mean, the, the shoe completely trash. I still, should have just been leather. Now, the smaller sizes are still going for 300 plus, so I wouldn't have been mad about that. But why is the. <laughs> I'm not understanding what this tongue is all about. Pause. This joint is like actual Exxon oil spill. Exxon Valdez. Look at the tongue on that other other shoe. I mean, that might be the most offensive, un uh, uh, less offensive part of the shoe. I don't know, though. Bro, Eddie Green be copping a lot of stuff. Bro. He be copping a lot of stuff on the low. Bro. He be copping a lot of Suns jackets. Um, reacts. I, I, have seen, I have a feeling they're going to suck. Oh, what is this? Hold on a second. What is this? What? Huh? You seen this video? Oh yeah, that's the homeboy. <laughs> I, I'll cool. tell you about him a little bit. Here, well, I, I me and him, I was DMing. <laughs> him and I was DMing. No, he, I sent that to you. Dude, that cat is funny, uh, <clears throat> bro. Tiger out here getting gripped up, funny by Samoans, bro. He got tossed out of the club no. <laughs> for what? I don't know yet. Like it didn't really said, but I'm talking like. Getting hemped up when you're actually somewhat rich is crazy, though. Like, being in, like, a full Nelson is wild as a, like, as a, as not being drunk and in a full Nelson is crazy, though. 
Like he was like this, fam, I get it, fam. Like, <laughs> let me go, fam. Trash, dude. You know, Soldier went in. Man. Soldier. That's my guy, dude. He might come on the show. No, <laughs> All right. If I get Draco on the show, you will be like, You fam. need to chill with calling people your best friend. Huh? Tell me if, if I get Draco on the show, you won't tune in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, tune in. He could have my seat. I'll stay home. I'll tune in, bro. Um, I'm trying to see if this boost man still exists. What else you got? Nothing? I'm trying to think if I got anything else. I didn't buy anything. Yo, shout what out to is Quality. That, a Puma? I might have said it last week. Quality uh, Conflict. A6 Fire, fam. Came in. Fire. I'm dying to wear them, but I go nowhere. I don't wear A6 fam. No, I'm trying to like. You literally go was somewhere. somewhere with the kids on Saturday getting all kinds of likes on social media. What are you talking about? Bruh, what was that? Barnes and Noble. Chill. Yeah, you went somewhere. I ain't wearing Asics. Them is handmade custom Asics. I'm not uh, wearing them at Barnes like, and yeah. Noble. <laughs> they were. Yes, you waiting for the, uh, what you call it, in the Met Gala. Bruh, <laughs> I'm waiting for Heat and Soul Summit. Uh, all right. We going to Heat and Soul Summit this weekend? Nope. God, you super whack. I'm going to go. be in a San Francisco this weekend. Bro, you love San Francisco. You love the Lamp District. Go is that on. what it's called? I don't the know what that tenderloin? is. Tenderloin? No, no. Yo, stop saying that. That's what it's San called. San Francisco is literally my favorite city in the entire no, world. No, What are you talking about? Yes, it is. No, San Francisco, not. then New York. Facts. No, it's not. I'm going to be in Nike store wilding up. Man, you ain't going to Nike store and do nothing. You can go to Nike store and be like, yo, watch, what you got in a size 8? Watch me work. <laughs> what you going to do, yo? Bring so, all your size yeah, 8s out. right. Bring they all got your got size eights out. Jordan one size eights. I'm copping all of them. But let me tell you something that San Francisco Nike doesn't have, and that's and that's heat. Uh, you know, you need to go go to Undefeated there, and go to Nice Kicks there. Though. That's where you finesse something uh, and walk out. You know what? I want you to cop. I want you to cop some Adidas Future Future Crafts. Uh. Nope. Somebody, one of us, got to cop them. Though. Nope. See you. You've completely abandoned. If I cop them, I will uh. resell them. You've completely abandoned boost. What are you uh. talking about? I just yeah. cop boost uh, recently. What you buy? I don't remember, but I copped something. Oh, yeah, you copped Eddie Hong's and you sold them. And I bought OGs, two pairs, on accident. Well, don't say recently. That was what? October? Relax. I mean, it's almost October 2019. I just told you I'm buying some this weekend, so. You ain't buying those. I am. Those ones that you just showed me? The other ones. The Emerald? Yeah, we got to hit up RJ first. So you got RJ Damn. if they fire first. So. What? You got to ask RJ if they fire first. So. He has them already? Uh, I feel like I saw something. You lying on. Bro, RJ is the boost, the new boost guy. You bro. love lying about stuff. I'm about to promote him as the new boost guy. He bro. is. He has everything boost, but he doesn't have it early. Although I seen him review a Puma this week, and I was like, ooh, somebody leaking. Yeah, he's a Puma guy now, too. Wow. <laughs> Um, that's what <laughs> that cat control, did. That's what huh? that cat did in the backyard, bro. I don't think this boost man exists anymore. I can't find it. His name is Teddy Riley. Um, Teddy Ruxpin. Releases. What come out this week? This week I'm on pickups. I can't think of anything else. Um, I got it. I got it on here, fam. What else? Ultra Boost 1.0 Harlem Renaissance. You copying? Ultra Boost. Oh, the purple ones? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I think I you're, like I think you're obligated to cop because it's for Black History Month. I like them, <laughs> but it's. If they don't come out before March 1st, I don't really got no point for them, fam. They come out on February 27th, fam. <sighs> cutting it close, B. Hmm? That's cutting it close. There's only 28 days this month, mm -hmm. which is one extra than usual. Uh, Air Max 720, about 50 different, million different colorways coming out, including the Iron Man colorway. I know you copping uh, Tony Stark. Iron Man? No, they're not. Tony Stark. The red ones? Tony Stark's fam. That's a kids only. I mean, you're still, you're still Iron Man. You got a small foot, fam. Uh, I wore a twelve, so relax. these when I saw the okay, these when I saw the first picture, I was like, those are actual kind of fire, but uh, I think I changed my mind. No, they fire; they just too much money. We've had those before. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's a, a retro. What are the alphas? I don't, know, I don't know if they're too much money. Yeah, Bi uh, Air Zoom Alpha Binary Blue. We had alphas though. So Gosh. that's retroing. It's two new colorways of the Night Jogger Adidas is coming out. I I want to get a pair of those at some point, but I'm gonna pay like half price. Night joggers look fire in pictures, but you know when you get them in hand, you're going to be like, God, these suck. The two of the most firest, that's not even a word, but I don't care. Two of the most firest Ultra Boost ever releasing. Fire Festival, huh? Fire, yes. Fire Festival um, Ultra Boost releasing. The Mint. Oh, that's a woman's? The Mint one is? My my day is shattered, fam. My life is over. I'm going to say something else with a D. What's the other one? Yes. Are you going to buy the gray one then? I guess it's low key hyperfused. Though. You yeah, know the problem what? is, you know the problem is with Adidas though Stop is that low they key they the sizes. I can never get the right size in Adidas. It angers me. I mean, look, get them for Hannah, and just look at her feet. Nope. 
Get them for Hannah. Bro, she literally has uh, naked ones and has not worn them. They're DS in the box. And that's one of the best Ultra Boots of all time. You need to start taking pictures of the sneakers you wear and send them to me so I can post them. Huh? You super trash for that. Nah. Yeah, okay. I don't like sneakers. Oh, uh, okay. You wear <laughs> probably you wear more sneakers than I do. Nah, that's not true. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You think you don't wear more sneakers than I do? Okay, yeah. You wild at me. I had Friday through Monday off this entire weekend, and I think I wore um trainer air what's some ones flying at trainers and ultra boost og the entire time except maybe i wore yeezy one night so you take a picture of it I that's mean, three shoes in the weekend what are you talking about <laughs> you know what i wore this weekend i went to i wore a nike shoes, i wore a nike sb dunk ftc which i'm gonna be honest with you, you know what the thing you have to do with nike sb dunks you, gotta, you already got me beat if you wore that you gotta wear a nike sb dunk and just leave the house because if you stay in the house too long with it you'll take it off and be like these are trash duh. i put it on my feet i left i said walk out the door greg i walked out the door i was like oh my goodness fam this don't got zoom air in the hill fam I already sold those a long time ago. Them joints are fire. Uh, I'm smoking them. Just don't even if you don't like wearing dunks anymore, that's cool. But don't say FTCs <laughs> are on fire. Like just not, just not get ahead of ourselves. Nah, you need to chill out, B. Uh, what else coming up this week? Mm-hmm. Oh, LeBron have a nice have a Nike Day stuff coming out. Even though it's already been coming out. Uh, T Mac one, which you already went off on. Couple things. T Max ones, <laughs> one sixty. You have got to be kidding me, bro. A hundred. You know I'm getting sick of title. I'm getting sick and title. Wex ignoring me. Uh, I've been tagging <laughs> Wex since about episode two. Though I see other people tag him and he talks to him, responds. He ignores me on purpose though, and I'm getting sick of it, bro. <laughs> Wex, where you at? All right. 160 for some T Max. T Max didn't even have any technology. They didn't have like a Dataprin. The first one, they didn't have boost. They didn't have bounce. They ain't got nothing. Feature wear. T Max were literally just very cool colorway boots, all right? Low top boots. And they want $160, dude. They want the same amount of money as a freaking Air Max 720. The Air Max 720 is what, 180? Get out of here. That's why Adidas. Adidas. Is that more than that? 180. Hmm. Adidas is literally spiraling out of control. Nah, you wildin', fam. Adidas is spiraling out of control. Two of the best Ultra Boosts ever coming out this weekend, fam. That's cool, all right? But yo, you can't you can't still be all living off the Ultra Boost. Like you just mad because he won't hit you up. No, no, no. I'm one. I'm mad because he ignores all my great ideas for Adidas and everything <laughs> I say about it. That's one. Two. We ain't never made a bad point when it comes to anything about Adidas. Uh, I'm getting sick of it. Uh. You're an actual Adidas hater, no? No, 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 no. I love Adidas, fam. No, you don't. I do. But it, it only sucks when you only love like six of them. There's only I like six Puma I love. more Puma RSXs, though. That's all I know. Need what? More Puma RSXs. Oh, no. that's what I'm not a fan of those. Though. I love the way they look yeah, at hand. I put them on. I was like, these aren't for me. Yeah, you tripping. They're too big for me. Uh, my body. That's not, you literally have dad shoes. Like, what are you talking about? What are my dad shoes? What are you talking about? Yeah, you have explain. Plenty of dad shoes. Um, just because I'm a dad doesn't make my shoes dad shoes what fail. Are you ta- okay? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. What else um, this week? LeBron at most. K Swiss. Uh, I haven't got there yet. All right, fam. K Swiss jumping back in the game with these new dad shoes of their own, and those are fire. You know what? They're kind of fire, but I just the fact that their case was just turns it off to me. No, you see, you can't be like that. I'm a huh? hater, though. I mean, no, what no, can no, I no. say? Here's the problem when it comes to stuff like case Swiss. I, I can't mm. say here's the problem. People, but if, there's but a if point, case Swiss, if y'all want to send some this way, feel free. There was a point when people started abandoning stuff like Ralph Lauren and stuff like that. Like, oh, we pull those plate out of stuff, doing that stuff. These are staples. Case Swiss are staples. And let's take yeah, community. Lozons and classics. That's it. That's cool, but these right here are fire. You know, makes these fire. They are fire. They like this might be bucks, the best. Though. This might be the best shoe case was ever made. Seventy five dollars. Styling though. wise, seventy five bucks. I think. But ain't, I, I'm not copying because it's case was. Uh, I can't do it. See, you an actual hype beast, uh. and that proves my. I'm point, not a hype uh. beast. No, 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 no. I've no, been no, against no. case was for no, a while. Though. No, no, no. That's my point about sneakerheads nowadays. They can't imagine going out and buying something different and wearing it and somebody not knowing what it is or being like hey Swiss, nothing to do with that that's no? a fact so case you was, just said case that they're 100 da, da, da. you case said this is 100 bro i just what are you talking about i've been riding for a puma shoe when's the last time you see me wear a puma shoe no 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 
the Puma shoe is is it's out of here with the sneaker community. They love the Puma shoe. You won't buy this. You said this is fire, but it's a case was I can't do it. What does that got to yeah, do with anything? Psychological problem, no? Huh? Yeah, because you know psychologically, like, damn, I can't wear this. Nobody know what this is. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with fire, me. Bro. No, that's the same thing with you and candies what? that are green that taste like strawberry. You know? you that is not the same thing. Yes, it is. Psycholog no, it's not. Psychological block, and you can't eat it. What's the psychological block? I don't like K-Swiss no more. Okay. All right, fam. I, re I refuse psychologically to wear K-Swiss. Uh, no, 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 no. Because it's, it's If you come out with over. fire, I feel like you You said that about Adidas. You said that about Puma. You no, said that's about, not true. Tell me I'm a liar. Call me a liar when you just say about Adidas. It's not true. Really? Okay. When? When I come to your office, talk about how the fire Adidas was, and you tell me how they're Nazi party. It gave me a oh, history yeah. lesson. Oh, yeah. I looked it up like, damn, I didn't even know this stuff. Yeah. Looked it up. But you was against though. it. That's funny, yeah. It is funny. Yeah, all right. My condolences, yo. That's funny. <laughs> oh, here right, we fam. go. All right, fam. Here we go. That's funny. Me bringing that up and telling you it's funny. What you got? Air Jordan 4, light crimson. LeBron 16. Yes, they do. LeBron 16, Atmos Safari. Suck. And that's it. No, they got Buzz like your. I don't uh, care about that. You talking about Jordan 6s? Okay. Can we let's talk about these LeBron real about, quick? Fam? I'm talking about them Buzz like your LeBron 16s. No, I don't know what those are. Let me let me let's talk about and I, I put this on the thing and I sent it to you, but you don't read nothing or check text messages or do anything. <laughs> LeBron? I'm not doing anything. I it's think, actually funny. I'm like, not checking text messages. I think LeBron sneakers. You're the other person I know that I can send you text message. You won't say a single word to it, but you'll send me a gang. I'm like, yo, All did right. you not see the fire I sent prior? All right. They would just say red. And I'm like, yo, fam, I know that was fire. He didn't even say nothing. He didn't even give me the customary courtesy LOL. That's courtesy. Uh, you know? All right. Um, you know what I'm getting tired of, and I, I thought about this today. Um, I thought about this part of this last night or yesterday, day before, whatever, and today. LeBron, I think LeBron sneakers are corny now. Nah, like, you no, 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 no. Come on, man. Like, you tripping? Huh? You got to really think about LeBron sneakers. First of all, let me go back a little bit. Jordan twenty three app right sends out a text message. You know what they sent a message out for Westbrook? It was freaking Oklahoma City color Westbrook. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what the? This is the first colorway to the team that he plays on. We've seen all these other colorways drop, but they haven't dropped. When did sneaker companies start straying away from the team color first? Like, remember when the home come out and the way, and then you yeah, venture out? A long time ago. What happened to all of that? That's trash now. Though. One. Two. The LeBrons, we've had one Laker colorway, and that was a scavenger hunt or whatever to get the LeBron. That was a one that was a Laker colorway. Like uh, you got idea, fam. You can? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no oh. idea. <laughs> See, look at that. You need to provide <laughs> false news, fam. Bruh. Mm -hmm. I think that's so corny. And then you got Atmos so far. Think about the LeBrons in the last what two, three years. We got Deion Sanders LeBrons, Air Max 95 LeBron, ACGC LeBrons. We got Fruity Pebble LeBron since God knows when they making those forever we got king griffey jr lebrons we got i think i already said it, air max 95 lebrons we got what the thrones again what the thrones are fire but oh, come on bro you know when the what the throne album came out you know how long ago that was and we still looking at what the thrones like we need those superman lebrons superman lebrons came out of lebron three you better LeBron talk to 16. your boy who boost i mean not boost you got me talking about boost now phone guy you better talk to him he out there copping every Le He might be a LeBron god, actually. You know? I love, yeah, he might have changed them. I, I love the LeBron shoes, the 15s and the 16s. But at some point, I'm like, you know what? I think they blinding us with a bunch of themes and a bunch of colorways to stuff that like we view as classics, and they 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 masking it. It's like, what's that, what's that saying? Put makeup on a pig or something like that? They masking it. No? Put lipstick on a pig. We lose our minds for stuff. Like, these Atmo LeBrons. They look dope, but come on, man. Like, how are you going to take that? It, you can't do that. Uh, like, And I heard, I, I, I didn't know it was actual Atmos and, like, it's not just using Safari. Like, it's Atmos times LeBron, whatever, whatever. Why do that? Like, y'all can't come up with nothing new, a new pattern, a new color, like, something. And I know you think stuff like they've that. They've been doing that stuff. They, he, they've been collabing with King, King Griffey Jr. and 
Who? LeBron shoes. No, no. Man, whatever That's else. That's dumb. I, I, yeah, and I'm like, you know what? This is corny, though. And what's all the other ones they did? I saw a ACGs new... ACGs and whatever else. Yeah, Air Max 95s, ACGs, Deion Sanders. Yeah, exactly. What the Thrones. Like, bro, that stuff is mad corny. You know? Like, it's corny now. It's like, come on, man. Like, come, do something else. Uh, and we, we look at it and be like, fam, Superman's are back. Superman's... Well, LeBron threes? Like, come on. Like... They make it. I didn't say that. Well, look, I think it's Superman suck. They oh, don't that suck. Been a Wait, issue. LeBron three Supermans or LeBron Both sixteen Supermans? They, well, I mean, they're okay. Both suck. I'm just like, dude, LeBron sneakers suck are ass. actually corny now. Shoes are fire, but all the themes and stuff is nah, corny. Tripping, yeah. Wait, what? When, when I told you it was corny a long time ago, and you didn't want to believe me. No, so you said LeBron was corny a long time ago, yeah, and I didn't is. believe you, and you're one thousand percent right. Yeah, you're right. When you post your own dunks, like what you did last night, <laughs> come on. <laughs> like he posts his own dunk. I think I said this to you. He posts his own dunk, and he put his own caption. Yo, freight train. You wouldn't want to get in the way of that. <laughs> Le- you know what LeBron's not posting? Videos of his defense. He's not posting W's either. They out there getting washed by New Orleans and stuff. You know? And they play against New Orleans against Friday, I think. The Lakers come on again TV twice this week. I'm so sick of watching the Lakers. It's not even funny. LeBron, man. fam. You said try to say Ingram was balling. Ingram was trash, dude. Ingram and Markel Fultz had the exact same eyes, dude. Ingram I know balling. those eyes, dude. That's that sleepy look. Like, Oh, Ingram was balling in the game I went to when he played for Duke. That's one million percent facts. He Fultz looked, was he, balling, too. He looked like... In yeah, college. Looks like Fultz is broken. That's different. Ingram just... Yeah, his spirit sucks. His spirit's broken. Bro. Yeah, so he's broken. His body ain't broke. Well, you never know. Bruh. It might be Rick Ankiel. He needs a seance or something. Uh, uh, Rick Ankiel, man. <laughs> hey, the same Bruh. thing happened to him. No, got the got the yips. Bruh. Yips is a baseball thing. All right? No, it's not. It, yo, that you yips, hear about stuff like that primarily in baseball. Dude. That's Doesn't when matter. people get that type of stuff. Football, football is a sport where it's like you just drop passes and stuff. You Kickers trash, get the yips all the time. Um, yes. Quarterbacks get the yips. Kickers get the yips. Yes. Kickers get it. Wide receivers anybody. can't catch. Ain't the yips. They just suck. Yes, they, they just pair them up being smashed. You know? no. There's a difference. Basketball, I don't think you get the yips in basketball. Yeah, you know. No, you don't. Like, you're an 80% shooter for your entire career, and then all of a sudden you miss about 27 free throws in a row. There's something wrong with you. Huh? You just trash that shooting free throws. Huh? No, that's not the case. Um, like I said, LeBron's corny. You know? All these themes, corny. You got to get a Lakers colorway? Like, do you play for the Lakers? You're or not, not buying it. It doesn't matter, but still, there's like certain like traditions that I do miss about sneakers. Uh, I miss the home and the away colorway, the All Star Game colorway. Then you throw out a bunch of this other stuff. Dude. Don't ruin the Atmos history for the Air Max One and throw it on LeBron. Like, come on, it's not gonna ruin that. It's not gonna ruin it, but it's like, man, what are you doing? Just come up with something new for it's us. It's dumb, but it's not worth complaining about. I mean, you nothing are, man, you in the no, no no nothing in the sneaker community is worth cl- complaining about. Sure it is. But we do a sneaker podcast, so I gotta complain about it. Yeah. yeah, but there's worthy things that we care about to complain about. You like complain what? about something that we don't care about. <clears throat> okay. Zion. Zion bust out of his shoe, fam. College basketball. Oh, That's your you world. You all right? Your world is college basketball, fam. Yep. 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 Talk to me, fam. What do you want to know? He bust out his shoe. Yes. He had no business wearing that cheap shoe in the first place. Oh, huh? Cheap. 286. Eight. 280, uh, and he, <laughs> if anything, he should be wearing a LeBron shoe. LeBron, at the very least, and probably <coughs> like a, a hyper dunk. And, and sh- <laughs> hyper positive. He should be wearing a phone positive. And them joints, and them joints, he probably, they said he'd been practicing and playing in those shoes all season. Uh. It, Which is trash. It should be so. three games and three practices and throw that shoe in the trash. He should wear a new shoe every game and every practice. Uh. No, it's not that. You got to break it in, fam. Bro. As big as he is, he breaks it in when he just ties it up. Okay. All oh, right. Bruh. It didn't like the shoe just like ripped open. The shoe bust like a, a <laughs> pinata. Like, it didn't like bust on the side. Like, the sole actually like came off the shoe. Yes. Bro, that should be. It should be impossible to do that. <laughs> like got a lot of G forces on the shoes, fam. Bruh, he might be a Concord. Like, there is. No <laughs> way. Yes, go ask him how long it takes. Dude. <laughs> And you know what? If Nike was smart, bruh, I would run with a phone posit, a run with a phone posit campaign with him. You could bring phone posits like back like that. If there's one player on earth right now that could bring phone posits back, it's Zion. You don't think so? Why? But why? 
Why? Because first of all, the phone posit isn't going anywhere. We we can obviously see that they're still making phone posits. Phone posits are the only Nike model. He probably make more money bring, giving him his own shoe and then give him a lifestyle campaign or something. But they can alter some stuff with a phone posit. Some stuff to a phone posit on Zion. Let me Come tell on, you bro. Let me tell that you would be so fire. And that was Rick Maze, Rich Maze that I seen Fam. say get him in a phone posit. Let me, let but me, they should Fam. get him in a phone posit. Let me tell you man. something. Yeah. Let me tell you who's not signing <laughs> Nike. Zion, unless they throw the most gigantic bag of here, we're sorry for Who's he going busting with? your career. Well, stop it. Wait a minute. So you think that affected? Uh, Talk about it. Yes. You think that him busting out that shoe affected possibly him going to Nike? Yes. Stop it. Stop it. We talk about Nike being the greatest of all time forever. An entire company, Adidas, couldn't even. They they had Nike. Puma literally just signed every single most valuable pick out of the entire draft last year. You know why what they are were you talking no, no, about? You know why they were able to do that? Because they're just kids. Like they're just kids. Yeah, what do you think Zion's twenty seven? No, Zion is better than every single person that Puma signed. That's true. Every single one. Yes. Okay. P what does that Zion, guy do with anything? Zion is probably better than sixty percent of the league. Okay, okay. That's not true. But. All right. Okay. He better than Kyle Corver. <laughs> okay, Zion's not even playing right now. So okay. You think he's, he's not signing side. with Nike because of that? You're crazy. I didn't say that. There's a lot of factors. It depends if Puma th gives him double the money Nike gives him. I mean, that's a factor. Puma was literally. Matter of fact, somebody was just on a show. Uh, who was on a. Uh, they talked about Dizzy Mero, actually. I think they talked about it on there. What's, yeah, they did. What's Geek as a way to play for the Pistons? Maybe he's still with the Pistons. Oh, Nets. He was on Complex Show. Full size run? You love what, that show. What's, I didn't watch it. I just seen the tagline. Tag what's, what's man's name? I can't remember. I he went to Colorado. Show. He was a point guard from Colorado. He literally said on the show, Nike contract is not worth it. Now, obviously, he's not a star. <laughs> so I don't head. know what level of money they offered him. They probably gave him like 10000 Okay. Ain't nobody in the league getting 10000 fam. They probably give him 10000 for three years. Yes. You got to split it. <laughs> 3.3, 3,333 over time. Talking about Nike contract they ain't worth it. What's he talking about, man? I mean, he's in the league, and he's actually been balling this year. Okay. You, facts. That's true. But probably should have been an all-star. But let's not go overboard. No, he probably should have been, but they're not taking two all stars off the New Jersey Nets, and especially since D'Angelo Russell got voted put had, in. He had no business going. Oh, yeah. you must be crazy. D'Angelo Russell has been balling in New Jersey. New Jersey is about to be in the playoffs. Yes, they are. Who would have thought that? Yes, they are, but that doesn't mean he's an all star. He's been playing all star caliber, though. No, I disagree. Olo now, if, are you saying they if they should be required to take one player from each team? Then I disagree. No, I didn't say that. Okay. Well, you said they already took one player from the Nets, so, so I'm, I'm not putting to... not two off the Nets. Let's not get out of board out or out of control now. Mm -hmm. All right. You take in the East. There's always going to be two from the same team, one team, and that's it. I don't know if it was this. Oh, this year, Middleton. Oh, that's West. Never mind. Um, yep. I don't know. That's East. Middleton, Chris Middleton, and uh, uh, Antetika Tatumpu. <laughs> Been practicing, fam, in the mirror. Sure, that's Antetika Antetika Tatumpu. Got you, B. <laughs> Pretty sure that's... Anyways, who's Zion going with? You think it's based off money? No, I have no idea. I'm saying you, you're you saying that that didn't affect it whatsoever. No, not whatsoever. Uh, no. If two companies offer the same money or one company offers more money, I bet you that would be uh, something that would be a factor. Nothing is cooler than Nike. That's just so what plain and simple. He just played in a Nike and busted the shoe to high heaven. That's so? so? That, bro, come on. Like, it's not going to do anything. That means nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Well, I disagree. Okay, you think that's the reason or just because someone's going to offer more money? No, it depends on other factors as well. But if all things considered equal, that could be the factor. Yeah, but you can't make They the... may have taken Nike completely out of the out of the uh, picture. Who knows? You can't say he played in a stupid shoe and then give him like that was just a stupid decision to be playing in a Paul George shoe when you're yeah. that big. That's a stupid decision yeah, he had right no there. No business playing that shoe. Yeah, that's stupid. That's like an old lineman playing in a Yeezy cleat. Okay. Nike's still Don't trash do for that though. Okay. Oh, I Look, man, this guy is an undeniable force. I don't know. It might not be as impossible as you think to do so when you're somebody as strong and big as he is. We don't know. Yeah, that's we don't know how big he is and strong he is, but it doesn't matter. Shoes should be last, all right? And, but you, like you said, he might have worn five, six, ten times already. Fam. It didn't have no effect to me. The shoe exploded.
Right. It did. A joint flew to space. Uh, well, it flew up his leg. Pieces. But, you know. <laughs> flew into the crowd. I thought, I was like, oh, it didn't mean nothing. He just, next game, he just wore something better. Okay, well, there might not be a next game, so. Oh, uh, no, he's playing again. Well, yeah, he's playing again. He has to play in the tournament. You know? He don't play in the tournament. No interest in the tournament whatsoever. Actually, I'm lying. But he has to be in the tournament. I watch almost every single game, regardless if Zion's playing or not. You know? Now, if Duke makes it to the Final Four and Zion's not playing, then you might be like, eh, all right, I ain't watching. But if they make it to the Final Four, then <laughs> I'm still be watching. I'll watch Barrett. He ain't good. He's not any good. He's going to be mm. trash in the NBA. Oh, that's 100% fact. Look at his eyes. Yeah. Okay. You need to stop talking about people's eyes. Uh, I look at uh, you. Look, you upset because Fultz got like no, 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 dreads no. or whatever all of a sudden. Oh, he got dreads now? That's the only reason you're mad. Or or Dookie Braids eyes. or whatever he got. Eyes and nose area is how you can tell when somebody's going to be whack, though. I'm sorry. You, you can't. Control, uh, have I been wrong yet? I don't know what you've been right about because I don't know what you Ingram, predicted. Fultz? You never said look at their eyes. I 100% said that, that sleepy look on their face. That's how you know when a player is not going to be good. What about Sam Perkins, fam? Sam Perkins wasn't good. Sam Perkins was good in college. Sam Perkins was serviceable. Sam Perkins wasn't good even in the league for 700 years. Being in the league for 700 years doesn't make you good. It makes you serviceable. Like, you're, you're oh, yeah, go ahead and stay. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yep, you, you just, ain't bad, yeah, you ain't great, but you're good. It's Pam to stay. Nick yeah. Collison been in the league forever. And Nick Collison he does not look like a weed head. Okay. Either way. Both the players you hate right now got braids, and that's why you hate them. No, the, the players that I hate right now, I hate. Ingram and Fultz both got ugly, Ingram, ugly hair. Deion that's Waiters, why you hate them. Deion Waiters. Everybody hates Deion Waiters. Mario Hayes, Chalmers right? and somebody else, though. I can't think of. You might as well call them Dion Dion haters. Though. You know who I hate too? The Phoenix Suns. Dude. I'm so sick of them. Dude. They are so <laughs> trash. I've seen dude. a video that said, "Watch this. The players take bad shots instead of giving the ball to Aiden." <laughs> I'm tired of that too, though. Dude. Like every time I give the ball to Aiden, like that's and I'm sick of them talking about firing the coach. The Suns have had nine coaches in ten years. Uh, the coach ain't the coach's fault. Man. I'm sorry. Not this time. It might man. be. No, no, no. You got to give a coach. Five years with a team that's trash. No, that's too many. You have to. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Minimum now three. in college five because yeah, you want to see what uh, four recruiting classes how good they are. Pros, nah. The problem with the Suns are too young. They're actual children. They they're like a bad high school team. When they suck, they blame everybody else. The fans don't come. The the coach is trash. The assistant is trash. The stadium is trash. Young players blame everybody except themselves. Uh, that's the problem with these young teams. I'm so sick of it. That doesn't them, mean man. they're not right about some of that stuff. LeBron, I am a huge LeBron fan, but I am getting sick and tired of seeing him go out there and play at this like regular level. I think it's perfectly fine to say LeBron currently right now isn't the best player in the world right now. Like I think it's perfectly fine to say that right now. He doesn't play any defense, like you said. He has the worst attitude on the court towards his teammates as if like – he had no idea this was the team when he chose this. Uh, like, don't go to work in a bad attitude. Like, you go out there and do your thing, and then you go have fun in Hollywood and do what you got to do. But don't he, be he a don't jerk on the court. No? I, I can't stand how he acts on the court. No? <laughs> He's all with the Cavaliers. And haven't we talked about that? Players that make a mistake on the Lakers, Cavaliers, all these teams, they make a mistake. Remember when you'd be, like, in high school and you, like, throw a turnover, you look at the coach, make sure you don't come out? They yeah. look at LeBron, like, yeah. to see if he mad. That is trash, bro. Kyle Kuzma, them. You they got to get away from them. Okay. He got to well, get away from LeBron. You want to talk about a bad high school team? That's what the Lakers are without LeBron. It's a bad high school team. They literally might be younger than the Suns. But th that's fine. That's why they. And then they blame Luke Walton. Like, what do you blame Luke Walton for? Luke Walton has championships. Like, he was an assistant coach. Like, what do you want? Like, they, oh, Luke Walton got to go. Come on, fam. Like, stop it. You know? LeBron should, <laughs> LeBron should wear a uniform that looks like a suit. Like, right? as soon he can sit on the bench, coat, get in the game, make subs, and do all that stuff. Bro. I, I I can't stand his attitude on the court. Huh? That's, your, that's your man's. Anyway, that is my guy. Huh? Um. So you say Nike won't sign Zion? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you said something like it. No, I didn't say that. Uh, what else? What else I said? Is there anything else to talk about? I don't think that's it. What else? It was something else on there. I'm gonna know. So. You know what I watch this weekend? Watch Black Klansman and Spider Verse. <coughs> and Spider Man Verse movie. Probably the best better movie ever. All right, that's one hundred percent fact. A lot of people said that, but I'm, I'm talking. I watched it three times this weekend. Like it's a cartoon, fam. I don't believe it. But it might you be, already know I hate Spider Man, so maybe I would I like know. that one better. It might be the best put together cartoon I've ever seen before. I was like, yo, is this like some new technology, fam? Don't disrespect GI Joe and Voltron and stuff like that. No, 
I said the best put together cartoon. You go watch Voltron and G.I. Joe right now, they literally look like, they look like they're being drawn as we're watching. Like someone's like, oh shoot. Like it looks like they're drawing them that, as we watch the cartoon. That would actually be impressive. I would yeah, watch, that, I would definitely watch impressive. that. Fam. It's a flip, that actually looks like a flip book. When you flip the pages <laughs> and they be doing that, that's what it looks like. You love being a hater, huh? No, you love being a hater. Spider-Verse movie, phenomenal. Whoa! Black Klansman, phenomenal. Yeah, I heard uh, that one's tight. Great movie. Uh, <laughs> Did it win anything in the Oscars? Uh, won Best Director? I think Spike Lee won Best Director for that. Oh, uh, that's Spike Lee's movie? Phenomenal what? movie. And you know who produced it? Peel, man. Jordan Peel. <laughs> Jordan Peel is a, is a genius. Uh, yes, he is. He's already a genius status. Yeah, what was that about? Did, like Tales from the Crypt, the new one. Didn't he do new Tales from the Crypt and then some other show that's on TV coming up? Oh, I don't know that. I know you hit shows. No, uh, the next movie. But you us, haven't seen Get this Out. This is so Us or whatever. I haven't seen Get Out yet. <laughs> I tried watching it, but it said you you don't subscribe to this this premium channel. You're a weird person, no? Uh What else are you talking about? We got anything else? I got another on paper, though. There was something. Uh, I, I put Doran Becker's retro wing, but I don't even know if I care. Uh, like, Oh, all them Doran Becker's that came out? Mm, you tried for them, right? <laughs> Did you see how uh, high the sixes are going only, for? The only ones I tried for was phone posits and sixes. Or no, sixes, actually, I didn't wake up. What did I try for? Phone posits and sixes yeah, are the ones we're trying for. The ones are like 600, aren't they? Something like that? The Which ones? Both of them, aren't they? The, I've seen the um, the blue sixes going for 1,000. So Man, get out of here. No, no joke. 1,100, I think. Nah, fam. Go look. So you telling me the original ones are cheaper? Um, I think the original not go for six thousand. Okay, that's definitely not true. Well, you know, you got two options: look it up or believe me. Let's see here. Well, go ahead and look. Well, it you up. know I'm not gonna believe you, so. Well, you should. Um, let's see. Um, phone posits are going between seven hundred and five hundred for fifteenth like, anniversaries. Eleven hundred. I'll be the judge of that. You should Size, judge these. So okay. Size 12, 11, 98. <laughs> size 16, 1500. I don't even think they had a size 16 on I'm that glad place. I got them two size 8s and them two size 12s. Mm-hmm. Rich. I was kissing my kids at college. Rich the kid. Send my kids to college off DBs. <laughs> I wonder if the hospital didn't even, any money. Back I don't even off try that. for any of these other ones. Oh, those ones are ain't, those ones ain't going for nothing. These these uh, free runs are going for something. I didn't even know. Uh, nope. Did you try for them? Air Max 95s? <laughs> what are those? Puerto Ricos? No, they suck. What are those? Hey, but they go off anything. Uh, Finnegan Moonies doing anything? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Huh? Oh, suck. Thumps? I don't know what that is either. Oh, them suck. Yep. Um, 2012 Fair Fam. Let's see. What else, man? Is there anything else to talk about? There was something, but I don't remember. Man, we can go ahead and go home then. Me. Boy, Kaepernick's jer- <laughs> jersey sold out. I mean, didn't they sell out once before? I thought it was a shirt or something. Oh, I thought it was a jersey or whatever. Did you cop? Okay. Hey, you against Kaepernick? All right. I'm talking about right. You love <laughs> you love Black Klansman then. <laughs> right. Denzel Washington son, he a little goofy. Like in Ballers, you know, he has that goofy mentality. And in Black Klansman, he's a little goofy, but he's a good actor, though. Know? Like there's some moments where it's like, but that's a Spike Lee movie where like parts you're like, huh? Like it's a little. He seems like he's weird. He's a little different. Like he's, but his dad's a little weird. Denzel's always been a little weird. Nah, he's weird. Denzel's or Denzel, right? Or are you talking about the son? Other one. Denzel's weird too. I don't Den- know if he's weird. Huh? Denzel is like a phenomenal actor. Everyone loves Denzel, but Denzel might be one of the most self righteous people on earth. Though. Like you ask Denzel a question, <laughs> you'd be like, hey Denzel. How did you feel about this? What do I need to feel good about that for? Like, he just gets hey, eight. You got to chill out. Rockies agreed to eight-year, $260 million contract extension with Arenado. Yikes. That's about right. That's light work. Rockies don't got that kind of money, fam. I well, guess all, I guess all, all, all baseball got, got that, that money, money though. Every single baseball team has that money, though. I don't even know how baseball works, okay, to have that much money. You read... And you read anything about baseball stadiums and stuff, about ticket sales and stuff, it always sounds down. TV ratings are definitely up on baseball. Like, I think baseball had a better rating season than basketball last year. Um, like, it was, I think it was close to being the number one sport. Watch the TV, yeah, obviously, NFL. Um, anyways, what are you talking about? Anything else? Looking it up right now. 
Kind there, of was some, there was something I was going to tell you. You got about. a true crime or you want me to do a true crime this week? I got one, but you could go ahead. Might as well. Might as well. Um, now you 50 day this. battery life. Man, what? I need that. True crime. This isn't a recent true crime. This is true crime by mm-hmm. Greg Robinson. Mm-hmm. Listen to you. You just told me. You just told me. You don't, The one you have is not going to be recent. It's not recent. This is a classic true crime. All right. This is a retro. This is a sneaker podcast. This is a retro. Retro. This really happened. Oh, slap your soul. I want you to guess what state this took place in, George. This is a true crime. Roswell, by, Roswell New Mexico. No. I'm about, to, I'm about <laughs> to tell you. I'm about to tell you a true crime. I need you to guess the state. This is true crime with Greg Robinson and place a boost knob today. Boop, 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 boop. Confronting a family member is never easy, but this may have been taking it too far. After Mason Tackett of said state caught his cousin stealing his cheese grater and an empty bottle of Lysol and some soap from his home, Tackett allegedly held Hagen's at gunpoint while the cops came. What state is this? <coughs> Three guesses. Held a relative at gunpoint over a cheese grater, soap, and an empty can of Lysol. What state? Kentucky. Is it right? First of all, you must have saw that before. <laughs> you had never seen that before. There's no way you guessed Kentucky. You saw that. Stop it. Don't even, don't. Stop it. I'm dead serious. There is no way you did not guess Kentucky with the first one. That was my guess. It was going to be Kentucky, West Virginia, and Alabama was going to be my three guesses. There's no way you got Kentucky. You saw that before. No, I didn't. You've had to have. The Kentucky on the first one? Come on, bro. That's genius. That's why. All yeah, right. All you right. got what or no? Yep. What do you got? Need to find it, fam. Who this episode is trash? <laughs> you said that last week, and everyone disagreed with you. So I'm gonna just let the I'm gonna just let the listeners rip, huh? rip, rip these. <sighs> what you got? Hold on a second, fam. I need to add some gunshots just for take up some space. <laughs> Multiple weapons and marijuana were found after authorities raided an illegal strip club that was located inside a home. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go with Vegas. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with Nevada. I'm going to go with Florida. And I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with New Jersey. Incorrect. Uh, my next three guesses. <laughs> I'm going to go with Chicago. I mean, no noise. I'm going to go with New York, and then I'm going to go with, <laughs> I'm going to go with Philadelphia. No. All right. What was this at? North Carolina. So North you, Carolina! You don't even know that song, so don't even go. Yeah, you're right. You don't even know who sing that song, right? I used to. I used to, yes. You used to take your shirt off and twist it around your head just like a helicopter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Underrated movie, Drumline. Um. All right. Drumline is probably the best movie you could possibly make about a drumline. That's facts. Uh, what else we got? You want to know what else made me say LeBrons are corny? Did you see the LeBron Soldier 16s? And you know what the colorways come from? The Arthur, the uh, Arthur mean with his fist. That's the colorway of what? Arthur. You know that yeah, meme, but like his the fist. Meme, but the That's colorway the of colorway what? of the LeBron 16 soldier. I was like, everyone thought it was Woody Toy Story. It's it's the what meme. What are you talking about? I said that's another reason why I said LeBron's are corny. Yeah, but what? I never even seen that shoe. What shoe? LeBron's 16 soldier. Never Look seen it up. It, it comes out this week. Um, LeBron 16. What's his name? Arthur. Bruh. Making a colorway off the Arthur fist meme. Oh, that, Petey Pablo. That's right. <laughs> Look at you. Typed in the lyric. Take your I shirt off. Twist it around your head like yes, a I helicopter. That whole thing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Uh, uh, Arthur meme LeBron 16. Come on, bro. Tell me that's not corny. All right. Like, come on, man. Yeah, but these suck. Who's buying this? And he actually posted a picture of the meme. <laughs> oh, he posted a picture of the meme like last year or something when replying to something or talking about something. Oh, these suck. Of course, all LeBron's soldiers suck. That's not true. That's actually what Zion should be wearing as a soldier LeBron. No, he should not probably wear closet. actual. He should probably actually be fighting for our military. <laughs> like he should probably be a soldier. Yes, he could run and jump over the front and then attack from the backside. What pause. was that movie? What was that movie? Universal Soldier. He might be. He might be RoboCop. <laughs> he needs to be fighting law enforcement. 
I need to figure out a time. Fighting for law enforcement. I need to figure out a time and a place to cop a LeBron 16 and a Kyrie 5. Yo, stop looking through my text. Yeah, right. Don't be a, you're my best friend, but don't be looking through my text. Yes, don't act like Rudolph. You're your fam, yo. Who is this? <laughs> I thought you were my best friend. <clears throat> uh, anything else? Do you got anything? I meant to ask you, did you see these Ferrari RSX? Let me see. Hey. I saw a Ferrari trash that you're talking about. What? The other Pumas. Other Pumas. Oh, the RSOs? No. RS Zeros or better? Nah, the other one. Cell the ones Ferraris. that cartels wear? That's the one you want. All right. Oh, the Cell Ferraris aren't too bad. No, nah, they suck. Uh, the ones that cartel wear tie on the side. Why has that joint got retail price like one of them infomercials? Uh, that's, that's probably <laughs> so how they did the ad. It's three, a video. Three simple payments of forty nine ninety five. You could do that with Afterpay. That mm -hmm. app. <laughs> These ain't too bad, but I'm not copping nothing with a Ferrari logo on it, fam. Me neither. I made that mistake when I was in college, and I bought a Ferrari Puma backpack, and I had no Ferrari. I was like, what am I doing? Mm. So, you know. Makes sometimes you, you make mistakes like that, but you live and learn from them. Uh, anything else come out? Anything else we're doing? Talking about. Got nothing, fam. We're stretching it out, B. You copy Ray Allen 7s? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm about to start chewing some gum, fam. Bro, no, don't chew that on the mic. Huh? I don't think you understand how microphones and podcasts work. Bro. <laughs> I can literally hear everything I hear I don't in think here. You understand how microphones and these podcasts these work. are for so you can hear what's going to be in the recording. If I can hear it here, it's in the recording. Bro. You know how many people message yes, me? Thank you for explaining how hell You know how work. many people message me when we talk to Riff Man? And they go, "Who? Which one of you were eating during the podcast? You was trying so hard to open up a bag. It was so loud in the thing. I was nah, like, fam. fam, what is going on? Nah, fam. Is there anything else? If we ain't got nothing else, we can just go home. Like, it ain't. You know, hey, that's I'm it. not worried about it. You're the only one who worries about the podcast being trash, and then everyone tells you it's super tight. So, I mean, look, I'm just trying to say, though, this has been a slow sneaker week. All right. It's been a slow everything week. Anytime baseball's starting up, it's always slow. Well, we lucky Zion busted out his shoe, or we would have had nothing, huh? I mean, we could talk about Gucci and all that, I guess. That's old news, but Gucci, actually, I care nothing about what? that stuff. Though. Gucci, racist, black face sweaters. Stop it, man. Just don't buy it. I don't care. Just buy this. Like, I don't buy it. Like, look, don't cop it. Don't cop it. Like, I hate when people get on these gigantic boycotts and stuff like that and give it three, four years. I can never happen. Though. Like, I can never. First of all, and they're telling people to boycott it that shouldn't be winning in the first place, dude. Because you own a piece of Gucci. Like, we could buy some Gucci if we want to, but it's like for what? Like, it just doesn't. Most I buy is Gucci wallets. That's it. Gucci is low key trash. I got those one Gucci sneakers. Uh, I don't even know what to do with them. Though. Like, gosh. Anyways, no Gucci's not trash. Yes, but it still, is. It's, it's trash now. It's trash. It's been trash. Anyways. Everything's trash. Uh, I got nothing else. Me. You say you copping Adidas boots this week? I literally I mean, have nothing. Now else, I'm so. disappointed because that shoe's a woman's shoe. So my life is over now. Why don't you just buy the gray ones? Huh? Why don't you buy them? I can't afford it. I gotta take something back to buy them. Huh? I gotta take something back. I gotta take back that other tuxedo shirt. <laughs> I still took a boat back the exact same you time. You cop two? I copped the orange um, because the black one goes for more money on StockX. A black one is higher than any other color. I have the vanilla off white tuxedo shirt, and I thought, fam, vanilla off white. It, it didn't happen that way. The black one is a little bit higher. What do you want from me? Well, look at you. You sitting on social studies sixes, or whatever them joints call. Got freaking hairy sixes that are purple. Get out of here. Those joints are trash. They're, it's actual cow hair. And the inside has a label that says this shoe oh, is made with hair. actual hair. cow. Uh, this it, shoe is yeah, made with actual hair. cow hair. Dead serious. Yeah, I mean, it's what it is. But, you know, you just had to have them. Yes, had to have them. You bought your size. <clears throat> I bought the shoe that clicked the fastest on the thing. You should have bought a size 8, if anything. 8 probably don't sell neither. It makes no sense. I'm just you're still on Nike sneakers app. You're absolutely correct. I think it's safe to say Jordan sixes are done. Mm -hmm. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. Did you I see? I don't know what that means. Have you fam. looked at the infrareds in hand yet? Yeah, I got them. I got them early. Trash. Yeah, okay. that's a strong. They're not better than the the replicas that came out in 2014. <laughs> that's a 100% fact. Can neither confirm nor deny. I think no. you just were too excited about the replicas at that time that you like elevated it to cult status. Oh no no see. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Like, I didn't. But you buy the real ones. I'm like, oh, I gotta buy the the authentics with the Nike in the back, 
correct it for it, all that. I'm like, yo, this joint is worse than the replicas. Uh, see, replicas, they making better replicas than that. It has 3M. Man, forget 3M. <laughs> I'm so sick of 3M. People <laughs> love talking about 3M. Somebody was trying to tell me about Jordan 5s or like one of the best ones of all time because it got the 3M tongue. Man, who cares about that 3M tongue? All right. Anything else, man? I got nothing. You sound like a hater, no? Uh, no, you're a proclaimed hater. I am. You're right. All right. The best hater this side of the Mississippi, no? Hater McHaterson. Um, All right. Yes, one person in the world got that joke. <laughs> she only listened. <laughs> <coughs> um, I don't know. I got nothing, B. You got anything extra, sneaker-wise, something? That's the sneak tiss. I'm about to really get into it. <laughs> I think that's it. No, that's it. <laughs>